Welcome to the EFS survey tutorial for beginners. This video series will show you the way to a finished survey project in 8 steps. This video covers step 4, the project test. The filter test is a central testing tool. With the filter test you can test the functionality of all filters in your project. To proceed click on the submenu filter list in the questionnaire editor. Here is a list of the filters contained in the project. The test status is indicated by traffic light icons. Yellow, as in this case, stands for functioning but not yet tested. To test it, click on the test tube symbol. Now enter possible variable characteristics in the text field for which the filter should or should not be activated. First, we enter a 1 the code for the characteristic that should trigger the filter. The test result is shown in the field test data. In this case, the filter is triggered as planned. By entering a 2, the code for another named answer option, the filter is correctly not triggered. Accordingly, the filter is set correctly. The filter status can now be updated. The questionnaire can also be tested by other testers. This makes sense in a number of cases, mainly to check on the comprehensibility of the questions and the questionnaire structure. For this purpose, there is a pretest module available that you can find in the project properties and in the tab Features for Internal Organization. Select here Show Pretest Symbol in the survey. This will cause a comment field to be activated on each page of the questionnaire where the testers can leave their comments. Click on Comment to open the pretest comment field. Pretest comments can be viewed under Documentation, Pretest Comments. After the pretest module is activated, the testers can be invited to the pretest. For anonymous projects, you can send an anonymous survey link directly to the testers by email. In the case of a personalized project, a participant administration is available over the survey menu, in which the testers can be listed or imported via an Excel list and then be invited to the pretest by personal email. Please notice. To reset the project after the pretest in order to delete all the results recorded during the pretest and to update the database table. Moreover, remember to hide the pretest symbol via the project properties before the field period begins. The next step is to invite the participants to the survey. To learn more, just watch the next tutorial. Good luck with your project!